never forget the time when Goku did 1 trillion sit-ups in just a few seconds to try and fight Monaka who at the time he thought was the strongest guy ever. If Goku actually did a trillion sit-ups in just a few seconds, that feat is insane and it doesn't even really sound possible. I remember seeing this briefly when it first came out and I thought it was like just a gag and that is ultimately what it is. The biggest thing about this, Beerus tells Goku to do 1 trillion sit-ups and he does them in just a few seconds. But Goku can't even count to 1 trillion. There's no way he actually did a trillion sit-ups, but let's just say he did. He did these sit-ups in about 30 to 40 seconds. Goku is moving his upper body at 2 sit-ups per picosecond. A picosecond is faster than a nanosecond. Uh, based on Google, actually, it goes down from seconds to milliseconds to microseconds to nanoseconds, then picoseconds. Goku is doing 2 sit-ups per picosecond until he got to a trillion. Just putting that into the calculator really quick, doing some basic math, Goku is moving over 2,000 times the speed of light, or at least his upper body. That's crazy, never forget that. Also, along with that, the latest episode of Dragon Ball Heroes came out, and this time, it's all about Broly, Vegito, continuing on with that storyline. It's titled Limit Breaking Broly's Return, and they're continuing on that story. So it starts off with Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, fighting this new form of Fu. Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, you'll notice, is in his limit-breaking god form that they introduced in the series a few episodes ago. Back when they introduced Grand Priest Goku, it was almost a, I guess you could say, maybe a foreshadowing of what's to come in the main series now that Goku's decided that he's going to be going down more of an angelic path. Dragon Ball Heroes did it first with Grand Priest Goku. Super Saiyan 4 God Vegito is actually fighting on par with this version of Fu. It's weird not seeing this level of Vegito just dominate everyone, but they are actually somewhat evenly matched, and that says a lot about Fu, who puts both of his arms wide apart and summons lightning into the sky. This bends reality. They then get teleported into this ballroom dance floor with Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and Super Saiyan 4 God Vegito just standing next to each other. What this is all setting up for is Broly. The room starts to shatter and crumble beneath them. The rocks start falling from the sky, and then he's coming. Evil Broly bursts through the ceiling and screams out Kakarot and then heads straight for the Super Saiyan 4 version of Vegito. This version of Broly should be nothing to Vegito and should get absolutely destroyed. Vegito grabs his hand and then punches him in his weak spot and then Broly out of nowhere just transforms into a Super Saiyan 4. He breaks all limits and reaches Super Saiyan 4 on his own with the God Essence as well. The two Vegitos now fight in tandem. You have Blue Vegito and then you have Super Saiyan 4 Vegito. Very, very cool. This is a 10 year old's wedge. He grabs both of their heads and then slams them together. This is what Broly was designed to do. Not even two Vegitos from two different realities in their most powerful form can contest evil Broly. He is rapid firing these attacks at him and because he almost has infinite energy, limit breaking energy, there's nothing they can do. Vegito just has to try and hold him off for as long as possible. However, the cliffhanger for this episode is everything just turns white. In all realities, all multiverses, all dimensions, you see everybody fade into white. It then cuts to Kumba and then this guy, and that's the end of the latest episode of Dragon Ball Heroes. A decent supplement in between chapters of the real Dragon Ball. But that's it, let me know what you think. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video. Thank you.